Now we're going to learn on coronary circulation. Even though the heart is huge with a lot of blood in it, it still requires very good blood vessels because the myocardium is very thick. There are two main arteries of the heart, which are the right coronary artery and also the left coronary artery. The right coronary artery arises just above the right cups of the aortic valve. So this right coronary artery will travel forward and then it will give rise to a small branch to the SA node. So it will supply the SA node, which is our pacemaker. And then it will travel, travel forward and downward and give branch to the right marginal branch. And this right marginal branch will supply to the right ventricle. And then the other branch will travel posteriorly and becomes the posterior descending artery. So this posterior descending artery will supply the AV node, which is a very important structure, and also the inferior wall of the left ventricle. However, in a small number of people, the AV node is supplied by the left coronary artery. In inferior myocardial infarction, we do ask for right-sided ECG to look for right ventricular infarct because we know this area is supplied by posterior descending artery. So if there is any occlusion there, we need to know whether the occlusion can be more proximal. If the occlusion is more proximal, it can also affect the right ventricle as well. So that's why we do right-sided ECG. At the same time, we also ask for posterior ECG, which is the V7 to V9, to look for posterior wall infarct. Because sometimes, in inferior myocardial infarction, it is also associated with posterior myocardial infarction. Because the blood vessel that supply the area can come from the same vessel. Now let's go to the left coronary artery. The left coronary artery arises from the left cups of the aortic valve. This coronary artery will travel forward and then it becomes the left main stem. And then it will branch into two branches, the left anterior descending artery and also the left circumflex artery. So the left anterior descending artery will travel here at the interventricular septum. So it will provide supply to the interventricular septum and also the anterior part of the heart. And then the left circumflex artery will actually travel backward to the posterior side of the heart. So it, here it will supply the lateral part of the left ventricle and also the posterior part of the left ventricle. Sometimes the left circumflex artery will also supply the inferior part of the left ventricle. The left ventricle is shaped like a bullet. It's round and then it has pointed end, which is the apex. We can actually divide the wall of the left ventricle into four walls. The anterior superior wall, the anterior septal wall, the inferior wall, and also the lateral wall. All these four walls are supplied by three arteries. The anterior superior wall and also the anterior septal walls are supplied by the left anterior descending artery. The inferior walls is usually supplied by the right coronary artery via the posterior descending artery branch. Sometimes it is supplied by the left circumflex artery. The lateral wall of the left ventricle is supplied by the left circumflex artery. Now we are going to map the area of the heart by using the ECG. As we can see here, the limb lids are looking at the vertical plane while the chest lids are looking at the transverse plane or the horizontal plane. Lid 2, 3, AVF are looking at the inferior part of the heart, which is at the bottom of the heart. While lid 1, AVL, as well as lid V5 to V6 are looking at the apex and the lateral wall of the left ventricle. Lid V1 to V4 are looking at the interior part of the heart. Here is another diagram showing the transverse plane of the heart. Now we are looking at the heart from above, meaning that we are looking from the superior view and these are the chest leads. We can see from here that V1 to V4 are looking at the anterior wall of the heart, which include the right ventricle, the septum and also part of the left ventricle. Specifically, lead V1 and V2 are looking at the right ventricle and the septum. And then we have V5 and V6 which are showing the apex of the heart and also the lateral wall of the left ventricle. We also have posterior leads here, shown by lead V7 and V8, 
which are looking at the posterior wall of the left ventricle. So this is the summary of the ECG localization and its coronary circulation. We have here the inferior wall shown by leads 2, 3 and AVF which is supplied mainly by the right coronary artery. We also have the anterior wall shown here by the lead V1 to V4 which is supplied by the left anterior descending. And then the lateral wall shown by lead 1 AVL, V5 to V6 which is supplied mainly by the left circumflex artery. Although not shown here, the posterior lateral wall which is seen by lead V7 to V9 is supplied by the right coronary artery or the left circumflex artery. We have here the lateral leads, the inferior leads, and also the anterior leads. Blood vessels that supply to the respective area are summarized at the diagram below.